What's up, baby? <laughs> it's your girl, Coach D Free. I had a thought that I wanted to share. In my opinion, there are two groups of Jehovah's Witnesses who have the hardest time leaving. First group, those of us who were raised in the truth. Those of us who don't know anything else, wasn't a part of any other religion usually, like this is all we know, this is all we did, and we spent our entire youth and our young adulthood serving the selfish, greedy interests of Watchtower, believing we were doing it for an almighty, loving God named Jehovah. Such bullshit. The second group are those who came into the truth while under like severe duress. Like people who just lost somebody that they loved in death or somebody trying to overcome a drug addiction or like a single parent struggling. Like these are the people that we targeted and we were taught to target as Jehovah's Witnesses. Don't y'all remember we had a scripture for everything? Like you already had a presentation for everything. If you knock on the door and somebody's saying, I don't have time, I gotta go to work. Like there was some sort of presentation you had about, you know, this system of things ending in a, in a time where everybody help each other out. And we had a backup for everything. And that's the people we targeted, which is why it's hard to convert people who are already doing pretty well at life. So there goes that. But it helped me to realize when I was thinking about this that either way, whether you were raised in Watchtower or you came to Watchtower and you perceive that you made these big positive changes in your life because of Jehovah, those two groups are going to have the hardest time breaking away. And I've been thinking about that. Like, psychologically, that's what you want to do, right? Have people emotionally and, and mentally and spiritually dependent on you. And I came across a clip, and I want to play it real quick. It's from a guy, Bobby Hemet. He's supposed to be some sort of special teacher. I don't know. I just be listening to stuff. But I found this interesting. Check this out. Of your own being. So therefore, the entire religious structure... Doesn't help you. Some people say, no, 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 Bobby. Um, I was on crack. And I came to Jesus and I got on crack. Mm -hmm. Yes, you did. But you didn't get off crack because of Jesus. <laughs> you used the focus of a deity, which is an image. And you believed in that image so much until you tapped into the subconscious mind. And you tapped into the subconscious mind enough to heal your own damn self. It could have been Mickey in the house if a motherfucker trained you from a child and told you Mickey in the house was King of Kings, Lord of Lords. Right. <laughs> you right. just used the image in which you believed in. The damn Muslim would say something else. The Buddhists would say something else. And they say, this is the only way. And they get healed based on the same thing. That is an archetypal image that you use to conjure up the healing process that is inside of you at your core collective unconsciousness. You get it? So they're saying, you just because you're ignorant, you attribute the shit to Jesus. You see? That's the thing why we cannot break our empirical or our imperial condition. So, this is how I interpret what he said, and I agree with it, if I'm correct. There is no external, this is, this is to people who grew up in the truth. I'm not talking about people who know about Watchtower because, you know, their grandma forced them to go. I'm talking about people who, I'm talking about people who got dedicated and who spent like the majority of their life serving Watchtower. And I'm talking about people who maybe came into the truth because they were studied with while they were in prison. Or they were pregnant and they were desperate and they needed the help of the congregation. And so they study and then they, their life is better now. And they think, wow, it's only because of Watchtower. I couldn't have did this on my own. It's only because of Jehovah. It's only because of Jehovah I stopped being promiscuous. It's only because of Jehovah I got my life together and started working steady and not doing drugs all day. It's only because of Jehovah I was able to find a wife and I was able to, you know, get a stable job. And it's like, no. That's an illusion and a lie. 
It's not Jehovah. It's not Jesus. It's your, you did it. You always have the power within you and you always had it to change your life the way you want to. Period. Like you don't have to give that credit to anybody else. You can acknowledge people that help you along the way. But ultimately, it is you doing it. It's such a great illusion and disillusionment that religion provides. And that's why we're so hooked and stuck on religion. Because we do these things for ourselves. We put forth all the effort. We're the ones that make the changes. And then when it's all said and done, we give all the credit away to somebody else. Like I said, acknowledging people that have helped you along the way, that's one thing. That's being balanced and gracious. But saying that you could not have done it if you didn't go to the kingdom hall or if you stop being a Jehovah's Witness, all of a sudden your life is going to crumble. That's the fear Watchtower instills in you. That's the fear a lot of religions, especially Christian organizations, instill in you. If you leave God, he going to leave you. And all of a sudden your life just going to go to hell. And that's why it's hard to leave. There are a lot of people who are like, if I don't have watch, if I don't have the truth, like they would say, if I don't have the truth, I don't have anything. I, I wouldn't know what to do with myself. I, I, I might just go into the pits of despair. But that's a possibility whether you're a witness or not. That just depends on what you want to do and, and how you decide to act. Is not is not Jehovah cursing you if you leave Watchtower and then some bad stuff happened? Just like it wasn't Jehovah who blessed you with that job. It wasn't. It was you. You filled out the application. You went to the interview. You nailed the interview. You worked. You you showed up. You know, like you did the steps. Like you did what you had to do, and you got a favorable outcome. We have to start. Like this is for me. This is how I feel. I have to start appreciating my own power to manifest and change my own life. When, you, when you're raised in that religious psychosis, it just doesn't seem possible. It's like you're just waiting on somebody to do something for you. And that's not, that's still being, that's still having a religious mindset. And that is a hindrance because we, we're the ones that have the power to make any type of changes we want. We can't blame Jehovah like we can't blame Satan. It's all you. It's still all you. And whew, a lot of people don't come to that realization. So they'll always be stuck in religious psychosis, whether it's Watchtower or any other church. They're all the same. <laughs> They're all the same. They are all there to just zap personal power and to make you believe you need them more than they need you. When the truth is, if you didn't show up, none of these churches would exist. They're not giving you power. You are giving the church power. And what are they giving you in return? Nothing but a fear complex, low self-esteem, extra stress, PTSD, depending on what religion you're in and what cult you're in and all the things you've seen and heard. What else, what else have you gotten? Outside of that, a sense of belonging maybe, that's important. That's worth acknowledging, but is that is that good enough reason to sacrifice your life to a false religion that worships a false god when it's really just a group of men cloaking themselves as God? They're the only ones getting your time, getting your money, getting your resources, getting your ideas, and they're the only ones that profit off of it, the highest people in your church. For me, it was the governing body and their controllers because the governing body is not the ultimate authority. They're just the puppet figureheads. They have very wealthy sponsors, people who run the world. That's a whole nother conversation. I might get into it today. We'll see. But I just wanted to tap in and say that, say my piece about that. It's, it's hard for a lot of people. I'm not taking away nobody's waking up process, but it's a little bit harder for people who invested a little more and spent a little more time in the indoctrination. And for those of you who just feel like you cannot do good without Watchtower, I'm just here to say I thought the same thing, and for me, it was false. I'm doing better now that I love Watchtower. I'm not I'm not no criminal <laughs> because I love Watchtower. I'm not, you know what I'm saying? I'm still a responsible adult. Why is this not focusing? I'm a responsible adult who can't get this camera in focus. That's because that sun is beaming in. I love it. I'm about to go stare at it for a few minutes. But anyway, 
that's all I wanted to say. Keep up the fight. Keep researching. If you're still a JW and you're trying to figure out what to do or if you're studying, keep researching. Do what's best for you. If you've already left the religion, you already know what time it is. We so glad to be gone. F that BS. No, 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 no more. Uh-uh. No more for anybody. I don't want to join nobody church. Like, if I got to worship something that ain't me, what's the point? I might as well just go out here and just start swinging and missing. But, hey, at least I'm trying. At least I'm on the field and on the sidelines. Religion puts you on the sidelines of your own life. You watch everybody else live their life and create their story, their reality, the way they want. And when you're a Jehovah's Witness, you just seem, it seems like the world blows right past you. You know why? Because it, they are. Because we're on the sidelines looking in, thinking we're doing something noble and moral. And all we're really doing while we're in Watchtower is wasting our damn time. And some of us realize that later and earlier than others, but it's still the same. It's a waste. You have to create your own story. When you're in a religion, you sit on the sidelines and let other people tell you what your story is. Tell you what you're supposed to be, what you're supposed to look like, what you're supposed to sound like, how you're supposed to talk. And some of those points may be great points, but the whole notion of we're the ones that gave you this information, so therefore you have to pledge your life allegiance to this religion is ridiculous. And that is exactly what Watchtower requires in every other religion. You have to stand up in front of a crowd and take an oath that you will be recognized as one of Jehovah's Witnesses from here on out. Like you take an oath to an organization. They still, they still everything that's unique about you. That's the point. So you can just be a religious puppet that thinks they're serving God when all they're really doing is fattening the pockets of already fat men. But that's just my opinion. You let me know what's yours. Put it in the comments below. Hey, like, share, subscribe. Leave a comment, like I just said, a donation if you're able to. Go ahead and fund the free galactic kingdom. I'll share more about that later. But until next time, I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. Stay safe. They doing some crazy shit out here. Don't get distracted. We're still on track for greatness and progress. Hey, if you got a good heart, I don't care what you look like, black, white, purple, green, I done seen all of them shades. I like all of them. But you got to have a good heart and you got to be willing to support other people. So, hey, if you can do that, come on and join the free galactic kingdom. I need some good people in this thing. True, that's true. That's facts. That's facts. But anyway, until next time, y'all, peace.